So now looking at a real skull from an anterior point of view, we can see quite a few features. So firstly, we have the orbit or eye socket we can see here. Just superior to that, we have a supraorbital foramen. Now that's if there's a hole here. Occasionally, rather than being a, a foramen, there'll just be a little notch here. And then it, it's called the supraorbital notch. Uh, inferior to the orbit, we have an infraorbital foramen there and then we can see in the orbit itself we can see two fissures now a fissure is just a crack in the bone so here's a superior orbital fissure quite big and then if there's a superior one you know there must be an inferior one and here it is here so there's the inferior orbital fissure there now then from this point of view or close to it we can see a round hole here at the posterior aspect of the orbit that's the optic canal and the optic nerve of course is going to run through that then we have one another canal called the nasolacrimal canal and at this point it's probably worth zooming in and having a really close look here so that we can see all the bones that are that are in the region and if you look closely here you can see the sutures so you can see the joins between the bones so here we have a nasal bone then we can see a suture there and then this is the maxilla here and then we can see the next suture here so then this is the lacrimal bone and there's a suture here another joint here so behind that we have the ethmoid bone so it goes nasal maxilla lacrimal ethmoid and then superior to those this is the frontal bone making up the superior part of the orbit there now when we're looking at these bones here or next to each other what we can see if we tilt the skull this way is that there's a canal here this is the nasolacrimal canal so mainly made up here of lacrimal bone but partly maxilla as well there's a tunnel there going from the orbit down to the nasal cavity and of course tears will go through that tunnel so then we can see if we turn back to looking at the nasal cavity again we can see the inferior nasal concha the middle nasal concha and then the voma again here And then we can see if we come down to the mandible, a foramen here on the lateral side of the body. That's the mental foramen. And then if we move back up to the orbit, we can see a supraorbital margin and an infraorbital margin. And then, what's deeply cool, we can see the orbital surface of the greater wing of the sphenoid. And you can clearly see a suture here between the zygomatic and sphenoid bones and then another one here between the frontal and sphenoid bones it's really cool to be able to see that so this is the orbital surface of the greater wing of the sphenoid bone and then back to the nasal cavity here we can see the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid and then down to the mandible again there when you're uh, a fetus two there are two parts to the mandible and they join here in the midline at the mental symphysis 